Hey, what is going on, YouTube? Hey, Aaron here. Uh, back with another, you know, topic type video, you know, uh, talking about the CC program here. I uh, didn't really think I was going to have to make this video. Okay, we got to do the Georgia. Let's go ahead and throw our ship in an AI game so you guys aren't just watching me at the home screen talk. But, um, yeah, the CC program, uh, for, for those of you that know, on PC is in absolute shambles. A lot of the major names have left. Uh, and I didn't really think that I would have to do this video like I just mentioned. But apparently a lot of people think that the two programs are either related um, and for those that are, don't know, I will briefly explain after this, but the, the, the short end, if you just want to watch the first minute of my video, is I'm not leaving the CC program. Um, I don't know why I would, but uh, I, I speak for myself and myself only in regards that right now I think the State of Legends is in a decent spot. I don't think there is uh, super aggressive monetization as such in PC, and I don't think that they the development team or the community managers have done anything regarding... You know, you know, for, you know, I don't think they've done anything to, to warrant any of us leaving. Um, but for those that don't know, in the PC version of the game, the developers a long time ago when the game first came out on PC, PC came out in like 2015. Uh, and around, I don't know exactly when, but around that time, um, they released the Missouri, a premium tier 9, um, a premium tier 9 Iowa with radar. But the problem was they, they fucked up the, the credit booster on that ship. And it gave them like a 17%. I actually don't know the number, but it gave the Missouri an insane credit booster. Um, so they took it out. Now, the, the problem was that that ship was not a premium ship. It was like for free or elite XP. I don't know the exact um, currency that was used. But anyway, a lot of people asked for it to be returned. And when they returned it, they took away the credit booster... And instead of just making it available to buy in the store, they put it in loot boxes. So all of the people, all of the historians, everyone that wanted to get it, I have the wrong build on this, but whatever. Um, they had to use loot boxes in order to get it. They could not simply just buy it. Um, and on top of that, they said that the people that already had the ship, the uh, the new currency, there would there would be a new mission. Um, basically, that would allow you to still earn the same amount of credits as before. Well, that turned out to be false as well. Um, and on top of that, one of the more famous community contributors, I think her, her name is Little White Mouse, who's done a lot for the game in terms of PC. I don't really watch a lot of PC besides Flamu and Flambass, I'm going to be honest. Besides um, besides those two, she has done a lot for, for the game. And, and they just kind of like pushed her to the side and and didn't uh didn't really show her the respect she deserved so due to that a lot of other creators left um notably so so that is what occurred on pc um but that has not occurred yet on legends now despite the um despite the aggressive monetization there is one thing um that i i do disagree with and that was the the key being in this game the key um, ship during the Christmas update being only available in crates, uh, similar to the Missouri, but you know a little bit different. It's not quite the the ship that um, you know. It's it's a different ship. Um, but regardless of that, I don't like ships being available for crates only. But if I if that is like the only thing that I could really point out, excuse me, right off the bat, that is just um, you know really wrong. And that being said, we did have a discussion in our CC Discord with the community manager. I, I did, anyway, um, regarding, you know, the program and different things like that. And guys, they do listen to us while it is not uh, the... While it is not the... How do I want to say this? While it's not the most... While they don't listen to everything they say, they, they do listen to us. Uh, and an example of that is the spawns. Um, I don't know if this is a great example or or just an example of, you know, what, how it takes them a very long time to listen. I mentioned the spawns back in April of, you guys know how the spawns can be really fucked sometimes. Like, especially with the carrier in a game, it'll spawn four here, four here, and then one on that side. And it recently, in this most recent update, recently, this most recent update, in the most recent update, they finally fixed that. So between April and August, you know, 
or J July, whatever you, the most recent update. It took them like, what, three months? So they do listen, but it just takes them too long. And I think that that should change, uh, personally. But beyond that, guys, this, this game is in a healthy state. And I, I don't think that leaving this easy program would accomplish anything for any one of the community contributors uh, in this program. So, I, you know, um, the these people saying like, oh, you should leave, you know, like, what do you stand for? Like, well, I mean, nothing, you know, <laughs> like, it, the people on PC don't know we exist. <laughs> they are two completely different games, two completely different development teams, and none of the community contributors uh, on PC even know, like, who we are. So, it's, it's a completely different, you know, like, set of, of people. Um, and that being said, I, like I said, I had a talk with the community managers, and they said, you know, whatever we need to do, you know, just, you guys let us know. Um, and recently we actually did let them know about the aiming, whether it was, I don't know if it's been resolved, the aiming bug where, or potential bug where I think your shells land short. Excuse me. Um, so, that's, that's kind of the, the end of the discussion there. I'm not leaving the CC program. I don't think any other community contributors leaving the CC program. And I, I hope that this game doesn't turn out like, yeah, like that shot right there. Like, those should not have landed short. Um, but anyway, the, the, the state of the game in Legends, anyway, is in a good spot, in my opinion. Now, obviously, there is still monetization, guys. Wargaming is a company that needs to feed their families. These guys don't come to work. You know what? I'm just going to create a cool boat game and go home, you know, to my cardboard box under the bridge. Um, no, that's, that's not how... That's not how the world works. There's no free lunches, okay? So if you don't want to spend money on the game, that's your prerogative. Um, but but also, you know, don't be fooled by any of the, the tactics and the crates. And, and that being said, I think I'm going to change the way I do crate videos. Um, now, obviously, Wargaming gives me, like, ten or so crates for, for uh, each update. But I think I'm going to be more... Uh, more conservative with how I do that uh, from the future because crate videos uh, are a form of gambling and it, it can lead some people to buy them unnecessarily as we just pooped on the AI there. But yeah, final talking points, guys. I'm not leaving the CC program. I don't, and I speak for myself, but I, I think I speak for myself, myself only, but I, I'm pretty sure every CC has this thought uh, because it's two different development teams, it's two different sets of community managers, um, and it's a completely different game. Now, obviously, like this garbage right here, Wargaming is still going to try and make money. They're still going to try and sell you commanders. They're still going to try and sell you ships. If you don't want to buy them, don't buy them. Um, if you want to buy them, buy them. You need to realize what you're getting, and that's why I try to do fair and honest review of ships, fair and honest review of, of crates uh, to show you what an average pull like myself would get. Um, now, that can be different for everyone, so that may not be the best example. Um, but that being said, this game is nowhere even close to pay to win, as some people like to like to say. Y you know, of course you can get like Swirsky and a few of the other commanders, but at the same time, I, I you know I run the Baltimore with Norman Scott, <laughs> so uh, and, and that's you know I have like what do the math there? That's like seventy percent win rate in the Baltimore. So by f far from pay to win. Um, if you want to just play the game, how it's you know just outright free to play. Uh, so that is the video guys I hope you guys enjoyed it you know I'm blabbering on there a bit but at the end of the day um, I think Legends, in, Legends is in a decent spot and until some catastrophe occurs where they remove a premium ship or I don't know um, I, I, I hope that the game changes a, a little bit in terms of the balancing maybe in terms of destroyer I don't know I don't know how they would nerf concealment or raise it now that they've already implemented it but um, I think Destroyer Concealment is a slight problem. I think um, the spawns were a little bit of a problem. Uh, I think they fixed that a little bit. I think they can move them back on some maps and change them on others. But uh, other than that, that and overpins as well as shots landing short, I think are a few changes I would personally make. But like I said, regardless of that, I think the game is in a pretty decent state. Um, well, let me let me asterisk asterisk that the game is in a decent state tiers one through seven legendary tier is an absolute dumpster fire right now because of the four destroyers and three battleships plus you know alaska and wooster um besides that 
I think that if they added three radar cruisers right now, um, they, they could easily they could easily kind of balance that out. Um, or not three radar cruisers, just three cruisers in general: the Des Moines, the Hindenburg, and you know Venezia or something. I said is my my three picks, and I those are some pretty good picks of you know multiple different classes of ship that would balance it out pretty well. But regardless of that, it's legendary tier. Legendary tier is still playable. Um, in a division, but solo, I wouldn't touch a battleship solo in that, you know, with a 10-foot pole. So, um, on top of that, the way you get a legendary ship is a little bit of a problem. It's monetized as well, um, and, you know, it just takes time. But, again, if you don't want to pay, you can wait the time, which a lot of people do. Uh, so I think that should change as well as the way you can get the ship. You know, like, you technically, to get any of these ships, you don't need, like, for example, the Conqueror. You don't need the Vanguard. It, it's going to help you, of course. Um, you don't need any ships. You just need to play the game like three times and you could get the Conquer. Yeah, it would take you a year, but you could technically do it. Um, and I think that needs to change. I think you need to get like 10 wins in the in the Vanguard before you can unlock the Conquer. So that way you're playing at high tiers. You know how the game should be played at high tiers anyway. Um, but that's just a personal gripe. Beyond that, I think Legends, like I said, is in a, is in a decent spot. And I don't think we really need to be... Like I saw some guy on Facebook like... Everyone needs to leave this game now. It's like, like, okay, settle down, buddy. You know, <laughs> like, regardless of me being a CC or not, I'm still going to play the game and probably still going to spend money on it. Um, but, I, you know, I'm not going to support the, the PC version um, and that aggressive monetization. Um, something you guys can do, uh, final thought, is watch Jingles. He's, I mean, all of you know who Jingles is. His YouTube video um, has a link at which you can contact the company in Europe about the rating of the game because it's a, right now it's like something seven which is rated for seven-year-olds and I don't think a game that has gambling like loot boxes should be really allowed for seven-year-olds without adult supervision um, so you guys can you know go to Jingles video support that link to get the rating changed um, and that technically would hurt PC Wargaming I'm not trying to you know go out of my way to harm the company that gives me you know stuff to to review but at the same time i don't like the practices of the pc version um and in the meantime legends and like i said is in a good spot and it hopefully it stays that way but i think me keeping an open line of communication with the devs and the community managers is better um considering how you know honest and truthful i try to be with them uh even you know to a fault sometimes blunt bluntly with them um than me just leaving for no reason right now so that's the video guys i blabbered on enough here for 13 minutes hope you guys enjoyed that um let me know what you guys think down below uh like i said as soon as, as, soon as i get into medical school i will be leaving the program so you know could be in a couple months here i don't know um but in the meantime i'm gonna stick it out uh we got a new update coming soon let you guys know about that in a future video play the ships give you guys reviews and, and have fun. So that's that's kind of the main point. Have some fun. That's the video. Hope you guys like. Comment, subscribe down below. A run out. Peace.